Well, a pleasant good evening. Today happens to be Good Friday past a few days and today is supposed to be Easter Sunday. A day when an innocent man was put to death the Friday ago, just two days ago, and yet according to the Bible he rose today. Today, Christians all over the world and believers are celebrating the rise of a man called Jesus the Christ. Who was he? What he stand for? The reason why I'm doing this is because I have a little thing to prove. Maybe he looked like me or maybe I look like him. Only God knows because I don't buy it. But these corrupt people, politicians, kings, governors, mayors, lawyers and judges that sentence him to death, today they will be drinking champagne and enjoying food around their table with friends and family. These fucking hypocrites. Or those fucking hypocrites. And I use the word not in a derogatory way, but in a way to send a message because in some language it is not a curse. But in Guyanese society, we look for a fault to blame each other and call it an indecent language. Well, for the learned gentlemen such as those lawyers and so-called judges who take bribe and sell people case in Guyana and many other third world countries, I got a message for you. If I said, fuck you, you get offended. But how do you know in another language and I say hello to you? Because there is no such thing as an indecent language. But there are such thing called injustice. When judges are sick to give judgment over cases that they heard, and lawyers being hired to hide the fault of criminals or to represent one who been accused wrongfully. Jesus had that day according to the history. What was his charge? When he walked into the temple called the synagogue, release the birds, break up the gambling, and throw hypocrites like y'all out of it. Not long after he was sentenced to death. And to prove to you where a businessman is very powerful, that his voice carried, when you got people who call themselves leaders, kings, governors, president, prime minister, that take money from business people, you are nobody but a fucking servant. You been paid to kill who the businessman wants you to kill. Or whatever they give to you. Maybe a little boy so you can bugger him. Maybe a little girl so you can sodomite her. So you will kill for him because he got your secret. Well, I'm going to tell you today, I have no apology for you fucking hypocrites. All of you are hypocrites. You swear on the Bible to do the right thing, but yet you do the wrong thing. Thousands of years have passed. You call on Jesus as your savior, but you lock up innocent men, women, and children. You prosecute them because they are not your race, or maybe your nationality, or maybe your color, or maybe not in your religion. Muslims jail Hindus, Hindus jail Muslims, and all of you jail the Christian, and the Christian do the same thing. Where is God? Who happens to be Jesus? Is he the same man that I believe in you are worshiping? Or you do it because of economical gains and society? Tell me. Your answer to it is only time. I want when they bury you when you passed or you died or you're dead. Like me who all of you have to go one day. Whether you kill me or not or I kill you or we all kill one another. I want those who are alive to dig up your graveyard if they may burn you. And examine your skull. Is just a piece of thing with two holes in front and other area. You are nothing but bones. But with a little flesh in your body, a little life in it, you want to be God on earth, making wrong judgment against innocent people. If they speak against you, you lock them up. You pass them through. You get criminals to kill them instead of hang themselves. Or they had a fight and they was fighting to justify your crime. You fuckers got far to go, man. I want you to know that. You might kill me, but I am one ghost going to enter your house. When you make a love with your wife, you will see my face. When you drive in your fucking car, you will see my face. I am not Jesus. I might be the man in the crisis. I want justice. Take Guyana where I'm from. Where judges sit on the bench to hear a case and give justice for a US dollar bill. A few dollars in position, they lock up innocent people because of corrupt politician that was elected by the people to govern the country in a democratic way. 
they become worse than Al Capone of America or John Gotti. Or may I say, a man by the name of Barabbas, who would have been killed instead of Jesus. But as society have proved, and as we have seen in history, the wicked always get over while the innocent paid for the guilty. But who do it? Pontius Pilate killed hand over Jesus because he take money from a businessman. The head priest who killed Jesus. And he who bribed the crowd to send nail him on the cross. Same thing happening in Guyana. We just elect a new president called David Granger, an ex-military man. A man who once take order but now can give order. I call upon him to look into all of my cases. I make a promise here. If I am wrong to any one of them who accuse me, take what I got and give to them and kill me. I don't want while living in God's world where you, Messiah, great men of God living, men who God appoint according to your ignorant supporter that God give you the mandate to rule them. Kill me if I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I want the fucking head of the judge, the lawyer, the prosecutor, and the accuser. That's all I ask for. What's wrong with that? Let's go into ancient days of Rome. You accuse a man, they kill you. They take your property and maybe give it to the man you accuse. I am not here as your servant or your slave, especially you Indian judges and lawyers who make back no deal with corrupt judges and some ignorant black fuckers who call yourself judge and magistrate and prosecutor. A case, a criminal break up a man's business place when he called for the police who dress like fucking gorillas because you all are black and I'm not saying that people are gorillas, but that is how you portray your fucking self and you attack without using your God-given rights and judgment, but you want people to love you? Come on! You want people to justify when you're wrong to them? Do you fucking people realize what you're doing? We got problem with Venezuela and Suriname. How would you like to know the people you're locking up innocently? Beating and innocently join the enemy from the east and the west to take the country because they need revenge. Where will you go? You parasite. You go kill me. I'm coming. I want to see. Another thing. You all talk about freedom. Let me deal with you black people first. You talk about freedom. The white man enslaves you. And no matter what the white man do for you, you will never like him. Don't give me that bullshit. You all always believe he enslaves you and he owe you every fucking thing. Well, I got a message. We go back to Africa where your ancestors come from. The most humble black people remain there. It's the scum of the art they bring out. The troublemakers. I'm not saying a lot of you are not good. Get it clear. But at the same time, you cost the white man. You ask for independence of Africa. And he give it to you. Whether French, Portuguese, Dutch, German, British, whoever, you get your independence. But in Guyana, and elsewhere out of Africa, you ask for independence, but you got a Indian country. How you view that and you are the leader. You are the lawmakers. And if I buy if I buy a man's stolen car, that is somebody stole your car and I buy it, and the police caught me with your stolen car in my garage, I'm going to jail. Isn't that true, Mr. David Granger? Isn't that true, Attorney General? Isn't that true, Chancellor? But yet you fuckers got independence for a country don't belong to you because you collect stolen property. All of you should have been arrested and charged. But if it was in Africa, that's your independence. That's yours. Now let me deal with you stupid fucking Indian who you call Kuli. Y'all are so fucking corrupt that a snake will run from you. A tiger, a jaguar, a lion will run from you. A piranha will run from you. Y'all are so fucking covetous, devious, greedy, jealous fool. I don't know what name to place upon you because the disease is born yet. That is who y'all are. Y'all don't fight for country. Y'all fight for money. Y'all love to curse and insult one another and humiliate each other. And I'm telling you on this day, you have time for changes. Jesus died for you if you believe in him. Give changes a chance.